Okay, folks, this video is all about Donald Trump getting his head wound, which he survives this head wound on August 4th in Ohio. And don't forget, August 4th is the 216th day of the year, and it's also Obama's birthday, the day that Trump gets his head wound. And do you think it's a coincidence that Donald Trump moved to Florida and this is the shape of Florida? It's in the shape of a gun and also Trump's hair. Look at it, look at Trump's hair. If you were to put this, which is Florida, on top of Trump's head, it would look exactly like Trump's hair. Think about what I'm showing you, okay? And Trump's going to get a head wound. Okay, folks, the first part of this video, the reason I'm showing you information that I've shown before is because I have to lay the foundation for what you are going to see, you know, the new info, and it's going to blow you away, believe me, okay? So make sure you watch the whole video. Remember I told you that the weekend, the singer the weekend, uh, he was the halftime show at the Super Bowl last year. And you remember the weekend he, when he used to have his hair like this? This also kind of has that Florida vibe, you know, on the top of his head. And how does he connect to Trump? So the singer The Weeknd was running around with bandages on for like over a year. Okay, before the Super Bowl started last year. You know, when he was doing the halftime show, he had bandages on. And the weekend, look, see right here, this is how it's spelled. They don't spell it with the E, and I'll show you why they did this. But first, let me let's look at his name. I mean not let's look at his name. Look at look at the date he's born. Two sixteen. And I told you guys that Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th. And August 4th is the 216th day of the year. 216. Now let's look at his name. First of all, let's look at his first name. Look, it's Abel and Abe L. Get it? Abe Lincoln. Because that's what they used to call Abe, you know, Abe Lincoln, right? Abe Bell. And Abe Lincoln was assassinated. And remember, he was the 16th president that was assassinated. I told you the 16 is super important. I mean, he was the 16th president, but the first president to get assassinated. Anyway, this is his full name, his real name. Now watch this. Just look at this first row right here. It equals 185, 68, 253. It equals the exact same as Donald John Trump, the first row only. You see, 185, 68, 253. You see, there's his name, 185, 68, 253. So that's another connection to Donald John Trump. And I told you, after Trump gets his head wound, He's going to come back either three days later or four days later, either 8-7 or 8-8 after he gets a head wound on 8-4. And look, he even wrote a, a book called The Art of the Comeback. And you remember the weekend he was wearing bandages. And look, bandages even has a 216 in it, but forget about that. Look, 53-26, 163-46. Bandages equals the exact same as come back. You see that? 5326 16346 for comeback. It equals the same as bandages. And Donald Trump uh was on the Jimmy Kimmel show back in 2016. There's your 216 again and the weekend was supposed to be on that show, but he canceled because because of Donald Trump. So he didn't show up that day. Another connection to Trump in the weekend. So now I'm going to show you why the weekend spells his name without the letter E. Because there's supposed to be three E's, but there's only two. They took out one of the E's in the weekend. Look, it's it equals 9541, 14840. You know what equals the exact same as the weekend? The plague. 
So that means weekend equals plague. And you know what, what was going around, right? <laughs> Supposedly is this, you know, a sickness, right? It equals the exact same. And look what else it equals the weekend. Head wound. You see that? So I just showed you that bandages equaled comeback and now head wound equals the weekend. You see how everything connects to what I'm telling you is I told you Trump's going to get a head wound. He might, he might be wearing bandages. Who knows? You know, and this is, it's all predictive programming. And by the way, I could show you so much more that connects to the, uh, the weekend also to uh, to my other prediction, which is Seattle getting struck on June 11th. And June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. And look, if you set the date backwards, 16-2, it's the 162. 1-6, and February is the second month. Okay? And June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. And the weekend was born in Toronto, and the area code is 416, and Trump's birthday is backwards 614. You see that? Trump is born 614, 614. See? Again, another connection to Trump. And last year, when The weekend did his Super Bowl halftime show, it was on February 7th last year, okay? So let's look at February 7th. So from the Super Bowl game last year, February 7th to June 14th, Trump's birthday, that same year, okay, it's four months, eight days. You see that? It's the 8-4 backwards, the day Trump's going to get his head wound, 8-4. And now if we, if we go from February 7th, the day of the Super Bowl, to August 4th, it's five months, 29 days. First of all, let me just tell you something. 179 equals the word Washington, but forget about that. Uh, you won't forget about that because actually it, it equals 130, then 49, then 179. So forget about that. Five months, 29 days. And why is five months, 29 days important? See, that's JFK's birthday, 529. The, and, you know, he was he's the one who got the head wound. Do you understand? And May 29th, May 29th is the 149th day of the year. And notice that if you turn the nine upside down, it'd be 614 again. The nine would be a six. Trump's birthday, 614. But anyway, it's the 149th day of the year, 529, the day JFK was born. And it leaves 216 days in the year. And I just told you the 216th day of the year is August 4th. So JFK's birthday is is the backwards of August 4th, the day I'm telling you Trump's going to get his head wound. And you know, Tom Brady, the GOAT, he won uh, the MVP that year. Okay? And I told you that the letters T, B, B is, T is the 20th letter, B is the second letter, and B is the second letter would be 20, 22. Get it? T, B, B is 20, 22. 22-2, And when was Tom Brady born? You see that? He was born August 3rd. And August 3rd on a leap year falls on August 4th. So when there's ever a leap year, it'll be August 4th, okay? He wasn't born in a leap year, but I'm just saying. August 3rd falls on August 4th. And I told you Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th. And look, he's 44 years old now, and he retired this year. And 44 equals the word kill. Okay? And even Tom Brady's initials has the TB. 20 and 2. 22. Look, folks. I could show you a few other Super Bowls that Trump had connections to. But it was it's not that big of a deal compared to this one. This one is the most important one besides the one I just showed you with the bandages. This Super Bowl right here, Super Bowl 17. And why is this important, the number 17? 
because I told you that Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th, the 216th day of the year, in Ohio. And Ohio is the 17th state. Okay? Now watch as I destroy this matrix. Pay attention. Ohio is the 17th state. And Super Bowl uh, 17 was in 1983. And 1983 is the only year in all of the 1900s that equals 216. It's the only year in all of the 1900s when you put into the cal- into the Gematria calculator every year, only 1983 equals 216. And August 4th is the 216th day of the year. Okay? The day that Trump's going to get his head wound. And remember, I told you the backwards date of August 4th was May 29th. And who was born on May 29th was JFK, who got the head wound. May 29th is the 149th day of the year. You see? And notice how old Trump was going to be in that year, in 1983. He turns 37, which is the EL. If you turn the numbers 37 around, it would be EL, the letters. EL means God in Hebrew, okay? And that was in 1983. But at the time of the Super Bowl, he was actually 36 because the Super Bowl was before his birthday. But anyway, 36 is important too, the 36, because that's a 666. And Super Bowl 17 was held at Rose Bowl Stadium. And the Rose Bowl, you know, is right next to me in Glendale, California, you know. Uh, But look, it's got the Rose. Because Trump is going to basically rise from the dead. Do you get what I'm saying? After he gets his head wound. And this was the Super Bowl 17. And Ohio is the 17th state. And you know who won that Super Bowl? It was the Washington Redskins. Washington. Because I told you, everything's connected to Seattle, Washington, too. And look at the score. Uh, Look, they're saying 1982, but they're the champions of the season, but it was a 1983 Super Bowl. This is not correct. Let me show you why it's not correct. Because, see, it's right here, see? The Redskins defeated the Dolphins 27 to 17, and it was in 1983. That was the Super Bowl 17, okay? They were talking about the season started in 1982, but the Super Bowl was in 1983. Anyway, so the score was 27 to 17, and Washington won, and I told you Seattle's in Washington, but forget about that. What does 27 to 17 equal? It equals 44. And I told you the 44 is the kill number. Kill equals 44. And I told you in 1983, Trump turned 37 years old. And I told you the 3 and 7 look like the letters EL, which means God. And look, EL equals 1737 on the top right here. And and remember, it was the 17th Super Bowl. And Trump turned 37 that same year. You see? And don't forget, I told you that 1983, the day of that Super Bowl, the year, it equals 216. The only year that equals 216. And 216th day of the year is August 4th. And remember, I showed you the score was 27 to 17, and Washington won it. 27 to 17 equals 44, the kill number. Look at this. So now I asked who won the most valuable player in the Super Bowl 17. Look at this. It was this guy, number 44. You can see him right here too. Number 44 in Super Bowl 17. I told you the kill number is 44. And the score was 27-17, which equals 44. And what was his name? John Riggins, right? It's got the rig in it. And Trump middle name is John When was John Riggins born? So football player John Riggins was born on August 4th, man. Do you see it? And he won the MVP 
a Super Bowl 17. And I told you Ohio is the 17th state. And Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th. Do you understand what I'm showing you? And one last bit of information. Look at this. He was nicknamed. He had two nicknames. Riggio, Rigo, whatever the heck. And the Diesel. And look at the word diesel, will you? It's got the E-L for God and dies. L dies. You see that? You see how crazy this is? And I told you he wore number 44, the kill number. And by the way, that was the first time that Washington Redskins ever won a Super Bowl. And you see it was all connected to Trump. Like I said, folks, I could have shown you even more, you know, (laughs) coincidences connecting the Super Bowls with Trump. But those were the two main ones, you know, Uh, the bandages that The Weeknd was wearing and Super Bowl 17. Anyway, don't forget about this. I mean, just imagine what I'm showing you here. Okay, the state of Florida looks like a gun. And it also looks like Trump's head, hair. Because Trump's going to get a head wound, do you understand? On August 4th in Ohio, the 17th state. August 4th is Obama's birthday, the 216th day of the year. And to the new people in the, in, in the the on my channel, I can't even talk. Uh, don't mix up my... Uh, predictions, okay? It's Elvis Seattle on June 11th, okay? Something to do with Elvis on June 11th after a spectacular event in Seattle and Trump gets his head wound on August 4th in Ohio. Obama's birthday is August 4th. Trump survives the head wound. All right, folks. End of video. End of video.